Hi folks, this is Shannon Parks and I am going to do a quick update of the Puppin firmware using Windows 10 and then I'll use uh, Mac OS. I think I have a Big Sur install on my MacBook Air. But I'm going to walk through, uh, make it as simple as possible and, and hopefully the video will, you know, a picture's worth a thousand words so I use YouTube all the time to see how to do things and just it removes any doubt that you may have doing something you've never done before. So let's just uh, first go to, uh, this is Windows 10, we're starting out here. I'm starting up my Edge browser. I'm gonna type in Parks Audio into Google or Bing or whatever we got going here. And I'll click the link. And this is uh, the main website page. And I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom where it says Firmware Update. And the HTML link to this is just parksaudiollc.com and forward slash firmware.html. Okay, so we just had a new firmware update in July going to version 1.30. And uh, a lot of neat things are in this update. Uh, as, more improved azimuth testing, cart logging cartridge hours, and an easy menu so if you're getting flustered with you know all the different uh, options and functions in the puff and the easy menu can just leave the main ones that you use day to day I mean you can have it just down to, to gain and that's it uh, so that you don't have to look at all these different settings every time you turn it on but like gain and magic and and, and warmth which was tilt uh, is, is on the easy menu. So lots of good things. And if you have an earlier firmware version, uh, hopefully with these new changes, uh, you won't hesitate to go ahead and update. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Now how to update Puffin's firmware to version 1.30. Using a supplied Allen key and USB cable, uh, the Puffin can be updated via an internal micro USB header with either a Windows a Mac OS or Linux system. You can see the currently installed firmware version on the splash screen when the Puffin is turned on. Okay, so uh, hopefully you got your micro USB cable and your little Allen key uh, when you purchased your Puffin. And if you need these, just contact me and I'll, I'll uh, help you out. But this is a, just a common USB, uh, micro USB cable. Unfortunately, a lot of them are just power cables used to power flashlights and all kinds of different things nowadays. It's, they're ubiquitous, uh, but the one that's supplied with the Puffin has the data lines as well. So uh, if you do this process and have a pro problem connecting your Puffin to your computer, try to use the original USB cable if you can find it. Otherwise, try another cable uh, because you're probably just using a power cable. This is a 5 64 inch Allen key, Allen wrench. Uh, you can uh, you can use a nut driver. I, I'm going to use a nut driver in this example. Uh, 5 64ths. It just makes it a lot easier. And uh, you might be able to also use, uh, for those that are not in the U.S., uh, a 2 millimeter nut driver should also uh, to work to, to remove these four nuts. Okay, so let's see if this is a candidate uh, for upgrade. Uh, let's see what version we're on. So you turn it on in the splash screen, ah, version 1.21. So this is, this is an older version. This is the version from 2020 that started with, that had, that had magic in it. And we'll go ahead and we'll update this to 1.30. Another thing uh, we'll, we'll want to know is the serial number. Now, now this serial number is, is a, uh, 1035. So uh, at 1020 and later, uh, I, I had a hardware change. I changed a clock on these uh, because the, the spiff diff mod uh, was limited to 48 kilohertz uh, with the original clock oscillator. And at serial number 20, 1020 and higher, uh, I was able to change the clock uh, to do 96 uh, natively, the 96 kilohertz output on the spiff diff. Of course, everything's always on all the puffins is always done internally at 96 kilohertz. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, it says download and unzip the latest puffin firmware. 
this is 1020 and later. So this, this we're going to want the, the V130 underscore new bin. So this is the file we want. So this is what we'll download. And I'll go ahead and open this up. So I'll just click that. And I can see it's downloaded over here. Uh, I will go ahead. This is, goes into the download folder directory. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll open that folder location. Okay, while I go ahead and unplug this and unscrew these screws. So we know this is going to use the new bin, the new firmware versus the old, uh, the older serials. And we know it's a candidate because it's version 1.21. Okay. So I've opened it up here. Now, if you have, uh, if you've done the Spiff Diff mod or or purchased a, a Spiff Diff mod uh, direct from Parks Audio and me, then uh, there's going to be a wire uh, connected down to your chassis. So you're going to have to, uh, you'll open it up like after you unscrew the four screws, you'll kind of open it out like that, like a open it like a book, but to your right there. And if uh, and if that connector comes undone there. Just you can plug it back in. Uh, there's markings of yellow, red, and black there for those that have the newer puffin with the with the connector. And if anything comes undone, it's you can we can just plug it back back in place. Okay. So then at that time, those that are connected to the base, uh, you'll you'll then plug in the cable. Since since I am separate here, I'll go ahead and throw that over. I'll go ahead and undo my my USB cable. Now this is, uh, I've upgraded the firmware flashing versus what maybe you've done in the past, if you've done it in the past. Now uh, this is just going to act like a thumb drive. It's going to act like a detachable drive. So when I plug this in here, you're going to see it pop up right there. Uh, it says uh, node underscore L432KCD. So we got a D drive here. So that's all ready to go. And uh, Let's see here. So download and unzip. Okay, now in Windows, it does not automatically unzip. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to extract all. And we're still in the visit downloads uh, folder. And we're going to make a new folder here, v130 underscore new, extract. And now, now we're looking at the bin file. That's what we want. We don't want the, we're not going to copy the zip file. We're going to copy this bin file. Okay. So once unzipped, you'll see a bin file named either v130 old or v130 new. When we want the new one, we'll be copying this to the puffin. Unscrew the four corner screws. We did that. Connect the USB cable, and the node drive will show up. Yep, yep, yep. Go ahead and copy this unzipped bin to that drive. Okay. So, uh, can I open a new window? Okay. So th there's a Here's File Explorer in Windows showing uh, the bin file. And then here's another File Explorer at Windows showing uh, the node drive, the D drive, the Puffin. And we can drag it over there. We can copy and paste it. Uh, let's go ahead and, and we can copy. Now let's drag it. Let's copy it like this. And it Okay, and then we'll see this green light flash. This green light flash for a couple seconds, and it was done. And we can go ahead and disconnect it. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back to the instructions. Uh, go ahead and copy the unzip bin. The puffin will immediately start programming itself, and the green LED will flash for about six seconds. After the green light stops flashing, reset, unplug, and reconnect the USB. Okay, we'll go ahead and reconnect the USB here. And uh, okay, and then we have some power so we can verify that it that it okay it looks it's not a bunch of garbled mess version 1.30 fantastic we did it so I turn it off unplug it and I'll go ahead and reassemble it and that's it and uh, 
for, for, for getting to, you know, I originally got to the downloads folder by clicking on, you know, when it showed it, it downloaded. Uh, down here, you see that little folder icon. Uh, that's one, that's another way to get to uh, File Explorer. And another way you can get is just uh, on, a, with a little magnifying search uh, box, you can just type in File Explorer. And boom, that's another way. And, and <clears throat> if uh, the Puffin was connected, you know, you would see it pop up right there. And of course, whenever you want to get to your downloads folder in Windows 10, that's how you get to the Windows download folder. And that shows the zip, that shows the extracted folder, and we'll click on that folder to see the bin file. Okay, uh, I'm going to now uh, do the same procedure with Mac OS. Okay, let's go ahead and update our Puffin using, using Mac OS. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to Safari, go to Google, type in Parks Audio, Okay, we'll scroll down to the bottom, uh, click the firmware update, and this just gives the, the text explanation of how to do what we're going to do. I'll go ahead and uh, reread it. Uh, how to update the Puffins firmware to version 130 using the supplied Allen key and USB cable. This came with your Puffin. Uh, we can update uh, via an internal micro USB header. Uh, using either Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. You can see the currently installed firmware version on the splash screen when the Puffin is turned on. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we have on here. Yep, version 1.21. So this is a candidate. I'll go ahead and turn this off. Now, which version do we want here? Uh, download and unzip the latest Puffin firmware. Check your serial number under the unit. Uh, so. If we have a 1019 serial and older, uh, we want the V130 old bin. And if we have the 1020 or newer, uh, we want uh, the V130 uh, new bin. So let's see here, we have a uh, serial number 1035. So this is after 1020. So this is a newer unit with the newer uh, clock oscillator. We'll go ahead and unplug this and unscrew this. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and download the file here. Uh, we want this one and we'll just just click it with the mouse and and let's see here. I press this little down arrow for downloads and it shows us that that particular file, uh, that zip was downloaded. And then actually, we'll go ahead and see if we can double click on it. Okay. Let's see if we can get their show in folder. So I, I went ahead and right clicked on it and uh, show, show in finder. Now, I just showed that we were using File Explorer and Windows. Finder is, is what, uh, what we use in, in the Mac OS. So this shows our downloads folder right there. Is on, there it is on the left, and here's the contents over here. This shows, uh, this shows uh, the archive. Well, it, it automatically unzipped it. So it's, uh, we don't need to do, we don't need to, we did extract all in Windows. But uh, here in Mac OS, we don't have to do anything. It's, it's, uh, it's already there. So let's go back to, let's move this out of the way and look at our instructions. Once unzipped, you'll see a bin file uh, called V130 new. We'll be copying this puffin, unscrew the four corner screws. Okay, we just did that. 
that uses the 564 sex drive or Allen wrench. Uh, connect the USB. Okay, we'll go ahead and connect this to our Mac. And this is a Big Sur uh, install. So this is the latest Mac OS. And uh, it should work fine, you know, with, with even, you know, M1s. And it'll work fine going back to old Macs. I used my 2008 Mountain Lion install in it, and it worked just like this, and it worked fine. I think maybe it gives some different USB errors when you're plugging and unplugging. And I forget if it, uh, I, but I think it also automatically uh, unzips it too in Mount Line, but uh, should be fine. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hook this up here. Make sure I had that rotated the right way. Get this out of the way. And go back, we're going to go back to Finder. Oops, not Xcode. Okay, so just like in Windows, here we see the, the, this uh, node underscore L432KC pop up. And this is just a new drive. Uh, if I disconnect it, it'll give me a warning probably. And it will close it. Let's, I accidentally clicked that button. So we'll go back to Finder here. And... So there's downloads, and you'll see uh, the puffin show up. Boom. Very similar process to the uh, Windows, except uh, Mac OS automatically, uh, automatically uh, unzips it for us. Now, oh, you see, I have uh, I have the old one here because I had previously tested, uh, done another one. So make sure I grab the right one. I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to go to the Puffin, and I'm going to paste item. And the green light will flash, and boom, it's done. Okay, so uh, Puffin will immediately start programming itself with the green uh, LED flashing for about six seconds. After it stops, we can go ahead and reset. We'll unplug and replug, and then we'll uh, turn it on and off to make sure it. it updated to 130. Boom, we're done. All right. So that's how we do it on a Mac OS. We'll go ahead and unplug and then I'll go ahead and screw that back together and we are good to go. Uh, one more, a couple more points. So File Explorer is what we're using in Windows and we're using Finder uh, here in, uh, in Mac OS. So how do, how do you get to Finder? You, know, you can just, you can type search. You can click on a search and type Finder. And boom, it, it just brings it up. And then there's, these are the uh, folders that we're interested in. We're interested in the downloads folder, uh, which will have the bin files. And then we're interested in the, the thumb drive that pops up, the node, uh, the node designator for the Puffin, which isn't connected right now, but that'll show up right there. So if you don't use Safari to see it in Finder with up there, like I showed earlier, you can also uh, use Finder by clicking on the magnifying glass and typing in Finder. Thank you. Hope you enjoy uh, the new features. And uh, if you've loaded one of the betas, uh, it, it will not, uh, one of the V, uh, 1.30 betas. Uh, this will not overwrite uh, your your cartridge hours and, and your saves. Uh, it leaves that. It doesn't erase that part of the flash. But if you do have, if you're using an older version of, of firmware 1.21 and older, then definitely write down those settings that you have. Uh, and if you have, if you for your you know your base setting uh, that you like to use. And also, if you have any user one through user four settings that you use, go ahead and you'll want to load those up and write those down before you uh, update your firmware, because that will uh, that will clear them. Uh, and then you'll be good to go. I hope you enjoy the new features, and thanks for watching this video.